Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Violet rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially when it forgets. Yes, well, even I must admit, Deadlove's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> it depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. Her most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time. Siana is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison. Pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! They protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer in you.
get her out of here. Sianna failed to appear as summoned, and there. Detlef is not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlef out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, and I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis. Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Hmm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour? Ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer, yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast, we're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. One of the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. 
But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? No idea. Need to think. Not an easy choice. Understood. Permit me to leave you to wrestle with this dilemma. I'm needed in the city. I cannot stop what is happening, but I can try to limit the number of victims. Once you've decided and learned something, perhaps, whisper a word to the ravens. I shall find you. Sliced through steel like through butter. They broke formation, ran. Eric 
barricade put up in the street. themselves inside. with the city. Won't help this city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can. Churn it out in gallons. Then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxe. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sianna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sianna awaits her trial. In custody. Yeah, I know it. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. 
I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And mine will come right after. Still willing to take the risk. See, I'm wasting my time here. Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Siana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. Got a signal, Regis. Come join me. Tell Regis to meet me in the palace. We need to get to the playroom. Should look around at least. Something inside? Nope, empty. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. A rocking horse. Ro nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism's damaged. Miniature tableware. And plush toys. 
cute. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rieta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rieta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blooder is damned, or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Hmm. Realize this might sound improbable. But maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. A tin knight. Well, well. A key tucked behind a picture.
Hmm. Is it? Let's see. Expecto Ludum.